Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for all my new subscribers, old subscribers for tuning into my content. Today I wanted to do a video on peak season. I've been really busy. I know I got a lot of comments on am I missing? Am I going to post more videos? What have I been up to? A lot of personal stuff happened. <clears throat> My great grandmother passed away. So I was in Jamaica for like a week. Um, I've been working a lot also. And I kind of forgot about my channel also. I still get the notifications with the comments and stuff like that. But not going to lie, I've been neglecting my channel. But I just recently experienced my first peak season. I've been at Amazon for a year. I started November of 2021, I believe. Yes, November 2021 was my start. I forgot the exact start date, but I didn't physically start working there until December 16th. And um, we didn't really have peak season because our building is, was fairly new. So we really didn't have like a peak season. But this year we did have peak season. I experienced a couple of things that um, Amazon Associates experienced during peak season. So I figured I'd just give you guys some updates and share a couple of things that I experienced during my Amazon peak season my pay um just different things to look out for it's very hard to keep up with youtube videos because you have to um have a thumbnail a title and me myself i'm a perfectionist i don't like to post stuff that doesn't seem like it makes sense to post so yeah i figured i'd get on it and start posting more videos because my subscribers like my content don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me get into this video. So to start, what is peak season? So peak season at Amazon is around Thanksgiving time, Christmas, and Black Friday. So all of that rolls into, they have deals. People buy more things, well, they're supposed to um, like have promos and stuff like that that entice customers to purchase more things which obviously brings more work to the amazon workers so during this time what amazon does is give us one hour extra that we have to come into work so my schedule is 7 30 to 6 p.m 7 30 a.m to 6 p.m now on our apps we've seen that we had to come in from 6 30 a.m to 6 p.m. First, it was for one week they put it up, I guess. I don't know if it was to see if we were going to have enough work and if it made sense, but as each week came, I would see it pop up for another week, pop up for another week. Me personally, I did not come in at 6:30 only because my son's school doesn't open up until 7:10 and there is no way I was going to make it to work on time. So, what I had to do was use my UPT so I came in at 7 30 every day except for Saturday because obviously he doesn't have school on Saturdays I came in at my regular time each day so the thing is a lot of people saved up their PTO to the end of the year no one gave me that memo at work I had no PTO by I believe the ending of june i want to say the beginning of july my pto was already done for and mind you you can put your if you're late you're you can put your pto in so let's say my shift starts at 7 30 and i come in at 7 45 you have a five minute grace period so i can come in at 7 35 without a penalty but as soon as it's 7 36 they'll take a whole hour of your unpaid time off yes a whole hour i was coming in that time the whole four weeks and that's three days out of my four day work week so three three six nine twelve I end up losing like 15 though because I was still a little late some of those days so keep that in mind you might want to save up your PTO so that 
when peak season comes, we have some PTO left. And there is a way to keep up with this. So we have an A to Z app. It's like a little Amazon app where you can fix your punches. You can look at your pay, um, your start date, your new managers, if it ever does change around and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> what I did was I just kept up with it. Like you can see how much it accrues, how much it decreases. Sometimes you can't keep up with it. So I always make sure I look daily before my shifts because sometimes it's technology also and you can't trust technology because there's a glitches sometimes a to z app is your best friend to keep up with your time um to know how much pto you have left and to check your schedules because sometimes if it isn't mandatory extra time they will take it off and you don't want to come to work and you don't even have to come to work on that extra day peak season is like hmm, i think i will rate it like not rate it what I would say about how tired it would make you, I would say a 7 out of 10. If you're somebody that works out, 3 out of 10. Like, it's not it's not that bad. But working daily for 4 to 5 weeks, and then if you're the type that really likes money, imagine them tempting you with extra time again. And just think, this is Christmas... And it's going to continue after Christmas. It's just not going to be mandatory for you to come in. So here comes Christmas, which is a paid day. Some people may not work that day, but you still get paid the eight hours for it. Um, New Year's. People are going to want to work extra time because you have a day where you don't work and you're getting paid extra. Definitely. I'm going to come in another day so I can get paid extra work because why not? And then the thing about it is what they did this week, after the 24th of December, I believe they still had a lot of work. This had to be the case because we've seen a lot of shifts pop up for overnight and day shift. And what they did was offer incentives. And for people like me who love money, I don't mean to say that in a bad way, but I love to get a big paycheck because sometimes you never know, life happens. You can have a car problem, um, you, I may not have someone to watch my kids and I have to miss work. Like there's always a mishap with life. It happens. So what I like to do is work extra. That way I have the extra money put to the side. So if I do have an emergency, that's another plus about Amazon. Like it's not unlimited overtime all the time, but if you ask a manager to come in, guaranteed they nine times out of 10, they're going to let you come in because people leave early so much people don't come in at all because they're tired or they have other stuff going on you know basic stuff at most jobs they'll let you come in that incentive pay they gave us five dollars five dollars extra for every hour you worked now i was a little tired the week after prime but the week after the week after i came in for a full shift and that's going to be my next week's paycheck. And I believe it's going to be a thousand because I got holiday pay for New Year's Day. I could have came in on New Year's Day. So just think if I worked, if I worked New Year's Day and I already got paid eight hours. So that's my pay rate is $16.70. But I already do the math. After taxes, I basically get paid $15 an hour. So 15 times um eight hours because when they give us holiday pay for um days we don't work or just the holiday period they give us eight hours because it's government worked hours although amazon has 10 hour shifts they pay us for eight hours which is government work hours i guess it's a labor law or whatever i'm not sure why anyone can correct me on that but we get paid the eight hours so eight times 15 and just think if i like i would have came in for uh, um, a, a six hour shift because you don't always have to work a 10 hour shift you could work a two and a half hour shift six hour shift or a 10 hour shift and just think even if you want to just leave or if you want to work eight hours out of the 10 hour shift that you pick up and like if you have that pto or enough upt time you're free to do what you want to do so just imagine eight times 15 and then 
time and a half would be around $23 times six or times 10. So you could easily make $400 in a day, $350 in a day. If you do it, if you do your math the right way. See, a lot of people in my comments, I've seen this say, oh, that's slave work. Amazon will slave you. That's not a real job. Like, don't knock everyone's hustle. There's smart ways to do it. Now, I'm not saying anything to people who like work a lot because if someone's working a lot, most times their their body's able to take it but i like to work smarter because i have children so i don't want to be too worn out to where i can't help out with them so that week <clears throat> i got paid for new year's day and then i came in the next day and worked a 10-hour shift so i made my 15 times 8 plus another five times 10 so that's around 250 i got paid for new year's which was 15 times eight that's 120 so my checks usually be around 615 regular without working <clears throat> overtime so easy it's just ways when you're working at amazon you have to learn to pace yourself things that work for you there's ways to make money either if you want to work smarter or harder there's ways to make <clears throat> your money just be smart about it based on your body preference because a lot of times we want to do things that we're not able to do by pushing our body too far. And now when you overwork yourself, now you can't come to work and you're in a bigger dilemma than you was before. So just pace yourself when it comes to working at Amazon during peak season because that money, it definitely is a way to drag you in, but you don't want to kill yourself. <laughs> so here's my paycheck as promised, my name. In the date so y'all know it's mine okay so just to break it down right here is the regular hours is the top row so my pay rate which is 1680 in the 40 hours i work before overtime and then here's my overtime pay which is 25 dollars and 20 cents I worked about I worked a full shift, but you know I was probably late for it to be nine point four eight, still like ten hours anyway. And my holiday pay right here for a full eight hours, like I was saying, the government eight hours that they pay us for this OT premium. I guess they um owed me. I forgot what they said they owed me. This is some correction from last paycheck though. Um, personal time I put some PTO so that my AM paid time wouldn't go um, take an hour off and then this one last one here the premium um, this is the five dollar incentive I was talking about <clears throat> that they paid us extra for working um, those shifts and then this is my gross pay right here my gross pay and then this is my take-home and that was just my two bank accounts, so I split my paychecks up. And so, yeah, that's my paycheck. I also think, like, for college students, too, they don't go to school during Christmas, Christmas break. Sorry, this is, like, a perfect time to get some money. You can make well over, like, 2000 And I know most college students don't want to physically work. I know when I was in school, I hated working. And when I was 17, 18, 19, going to school, I didn't want to work like that. But the extra money to hang out, go to the movies, buy shoes, clothes, feminine products, I didn't want to ask my mom or my dad to send me money <clears throat> for stuff like that or to give me money for stuff like that. Although they would, I liked to feel independent. So that's a perfect time, I feel, for college students to get like a quick little $2,000 uh, <clears throat> so that they can just work it for two weeks and then go back to school. Easy. Easy money. It's really easy. You, Like I said, you just have to be smart about it and pace yourself. At one point, my hours got really low. Like, I think it was at like one hour and 13 minutes in. I always try to keep my hours at 10 hours because if I miss a day things happen <laughs> i don't want to get fired behind something that's not really my fault so missing work is something that's hard to me because sometimes i'm tired sometimes i run late on time you know so i try to go to hr 
to see because someone told me I can apply for something called I'm trying to remember what it was called I think it was called a hardship I guess um like when you're absolutely not able to work your shift like even your regular shift not just for peak season if you're not able to work your shift they can adjust your schedule so I went to HR and I was like hey um I've used like 13 around 13 or 14 of my um, pay time and um you know it's getting down to the wire and I want to see like if there's a way that I can get my hours fixed or something like that and the guy back there was like really rude that's one thing I don't like about Amazon their HR gets paid for nothing literally they don't do anything back there the guy was like oh well um you can get a form from your son's school saying that there's absolutely no way that the school can open before um 7 10. he was like oh i know they have drop off early programs it didn't feel like he was trying to help me it felt like he thought i was trying to find a way out of not coming to work on time but even if that's so rude because for one my son's autistic you think i'm gonna drop him off if somebody does something to him he can't say any words the program where you drop your kids off early they don't work with kids that are like my son so i was offended at the fact that he even suggested that because you're trying to be a butthole about something and you don't know that you're being even you're being overly rude because you're telling me to drop my child somewhere off early and it's only an hour you're acting like i was gonna mix like four three hours and <clears throat> drop him off early i was like yeah whatever i didn't somebody at work was like you should go get the letter from work or whatever from his school or whatever i'm like first of all i'm not going to the school for them to type up a letter saying what time school's open schools in every county open at the same time there's nothing different about any school so for one that's something that they can look up i can't lie about having a child because all you I, me i'm thinking that all they would do is ask for his birth certificate because if you see he's of age if i'm not taking my son to school he's not registered in some type of school i would be in jail so all the extra documents that he was asking for it kind of pushed me away from my job i really didn't like that and that's not the first time that i had like an issue regarding things to do with my children because when I first started working there I was breastfeeding and I didn't know that they had something to where you could breastfeed for mothers and no one told me about that and I was like working too much to where I was having headaches because my breasts were engorged so I ended up stopped breastfeeding my son early which I really didn't even want to do because I needed to work so you know that's two strikes with things like that like I put up with a lot of things because I'm not rich I'm not saying I have to be treated like crap but there's not much say so you have when you have no option but to work <clears throat> and really i stay at amazon because it's flexible for me for now with having children i don't know much jobs that let you leave when you have to leave like with no penalty well it's penalizing your hours but they're not going to feel a way towards you for leaving you'll come back the next way and it's like you still have your job but that's just one little experience I wanted to share for any mothers that might watch my videos. I mean, every site's going to be different, but I'm pretty sure there's a reason because there's two di these are two different people I had these experiences with. So Amazon may train their um, people in HR to make sure when they're helping the workers at the same time, they're putting Amazon first because in his head, he's probably thinking, me not coming in for an hour for four days straight, how much items can I pack in that time? That's what I'm just thinking. I could be wrong, but, yep, that was my experience with HR, and I really didn't like that. I was very upset about that. Like, it was really rude. Let me know what you guys think. But today is Monday. I don't get my check for the, for the first week of january until friday i'm gonna show you guys the check and how it's broken down as far as my double time my differential time um the incentive pay i told you guys about with the five dollars <sighs> yeah i'm trying to think if there's anything that i left out any questions that you guys have too you guys are really good asking me questions and i'm pretty good with keeping up 
with answering questions and sometimes you guys get answers from other subscribers before i even get to you guys so thank you for helping each other out also which also helps me but thank you so much for watching my video i love all my subscribers anyone who hasn't subscribed as of yet don't forget to like comment subscribe and give me suggestions on other videos it doesn't have to be about amazon because i do like to talk and talk about other things if you guys want me to talk about any other things just let me know and i would get started on those topics bye i know you want to Don't push it, don't let it